Hey guys, this is James Rice. I'm going to show you uh, the three essential, I think are my preference, the three essential workouts. That if you had no other workouts to do, that is the only three you have to do. And I'm going to show you what they are. Alright guys, um, first workout that I think is essential is a pull-up. Um, if you cannot do a pull-up, uh, I'll show you an alternative to help you achieve uh, a pull-up in the future. And another alternative, if you have a bar available, you do some negatives. But this is a pull up, up, down, extend your arms, all the way up, chin over bar, and down. Um, yeah, if you guys do have a bar available and you aren't able to pull yourself up, um, I would do some negatives, which is you go up and hold. So you pull, you jump yourself up if you're not strong enough to pull yourself up. So you jump and then you just hold up here. And then you really focus and going slow on the way down. But if you don't have a bar and you can't do a pull up, and you have some dumbbells available or some heavy like gallons of water or something, um, just do upright rows. It's gonna really work those lats, shoulders, the biceps. Just pulling yourself up and down slow. Up and down slow. So that's the alternative. That's the workout. I think, I think that pull-ups are very essential. So you work your arms, shoulders, back. It's a great one. On to the next. Rise up. Uh, second workout that I think is uh, very essential for your legs, uh, your quads, your hamstrings, butt, your hip flexors, um, even your calves, because they kind of help stabilize you, um, is a squat. You can either do it uh, front squats, so the bar is in front of you, I like that way. It's less pressure on my spine, I feel. Or, if you like it, you know, back of your head. I'm gonna demonstrate front hold. Cause I'm gonna have a rack out here. But uh, just uh, feet shoulder width apart. If you uh, want, just uh, slightly toes out, not too much. Let's really drop the butt and then back up. Drop the butt as low as you can and up. Drop down, nice and slow, controlled, and then back up. If you don't have a bar, same thing. Um, if you have some dumbbells, I would just grab them. Either hold them to your side, and just drop, work your legs down like that. Just up, hips out up top, always squeeze the butt, or some little arm workout into it. Just drop down and back up. Squeeze the butt up top. The next workout that I think is essential is a deadlift. If you have a bar, just throw on some weight. And grab the bar. I like to do a mixed grip when I do a deadlift. See, it's, uh, I think it's a uh, better grip wise. Has a better grip on the bar. It's really uh, drop down, back up. You want your uh, back to be neutral, and then drop up, and then squeeze up. Drop down, like you're picking up something off the ground. Hips out up top, back again. Nice. Drop down, and back up. Squeeze up top. Nice firm grip on the bar. If you don't have a bar once again and want to do it with dumbbells, this is the alternative. Hold the dumbbells in front of you, drop down, back up, or hold them to your side, hips up top. Squeeze so down, up, it's down, up, to the side, it's down. back. It's a compound movement. It's a great one to build overall strength in your legs and your whole body. It's all connected to your core. In conclusion guys, so those are my three favorite workouts that I include in each of uh, my workouts week in, week out. Pull-ups, squats, deadlifts. Definitely essential to make your body grow and get stronger because they're all compound movements, you know, moving multi-jointed different parts of the body. So. 
you had three workouts to do, I would say do those three. If you had just some time to do them or just want to do a quick 15 minute workout, do some pull ups, squats, deadlifts, and you're good to go. Stay risen everyone, until next time. I'm ready, Lou. We're recording now. Recording again, Lou. Yay! Okay, Louie.